Unemployment in this country remains a full-blown crisis. Millions of the 9% unemployment rate does not begin to capture the full extent of our jobs deficit. We need policies that will encourage businesses to invest and, ex and expand. Yet the health loss insurance tax does just the opposite. According to a recent analysis, in just the first 10 years, the insurance tax would impose $87 billion in cost on businesses and their employees. Revenue that could be spent on higher wages, new hires, and capital investment, increasing jobs, and growing the economy will instead go to pay this tax. And that is just the start. In the second decade, this tax will cost businesses and their employees $208 billion. It is important to understand how this insurance tax will. 2014, health ins 2014, health insurance companies will have to pay a tax based on their net premiums written in the fully insured market. This is the market where 87% of small businesses purchase their health insurance. It is the market where the self-employed and uninsured go to purchase insurance. So who will pay this tax? Someone has to pay it. Contrary to the uh, talking points that all too often come out of this administration, all of these new mandates and regulations are not free. Someone has to foot the bill. And ultimately, it will be those least able to afford it that are paying it. Primarily, small businesses and their employees will be responsible for paying this tax. When the cost of coverage goes up due to this tax, employees will pay for it in lower wages or higher health care costs.